Messianic 7 News Cast Broadcasting World News, Current Affairs, Events Surrounding Modern Day Israel and the Jewish People, What the Torah Holds for Us, What is Happening to the Gentiles. God's plan for the entire planet revolves around the physical and spiritual restoration of Israel and the consequent return of the Messiah Yeshua. Whether or not the nations realize it, world events are swirling around Israel and God's agenda not the other way around. It is our hope that we can connect for you the prophetic dots between God's plan for mankind, Israel, and today's news. No surrender to Hamas at Ben Kur visits Temple Mount. National Security Minister Itamar Ben Akfer visits the Temple Mount on January 3, 2023. The sun keeps shining and the Middle East isn't on fire, commented Tom. Nasani, CEO of Bayadenu for the Temple Mount. National Security Minister Itamar Ben Akfer visited the Temple Mount on Tuesday morning, despite Hamas threats that his presence at the holy site would be met with violent retaliation. Ben Akfer's visit marks the first time that an Israeli government minister has visited the site in five years. Notably, he went on the 10th day of the Hebrew month of Tevet, a Jewish fast day commemorating an ancient siege of Jerusalem that led to the destruction of the Holy Temple. The visit was uneventful, with pictures and videos of Ben Akver surrounded by security guards and accompanied by a rabbi walking around the compound widely circulating on both Hebrew and Arabic language social media platforms. At the end of his visit, Ben Akver gave a statement to Hebrew language media saying that his ascension to the Temple Mount was particularly important on the heels of threats issued by terror groups. Our government will not surrender to threats from Hamas, he said. The Temple Mount is the most important place for the people of Israel. We maintain the freedom of movement for Muslims and Christians, but Jews also go up to the site, and those who make threats must be dealt with with an iron fist. Tom Nassani, CEO of Bayadenu for the Temple Mount, congratulated Ben Gur. Minister Ben Gur deserves all the respect for ascending the Temple Mount and not capitulating to Hamas threats. The sun keeps shining, and the Middle East isn't on fire. Even if there are those who would try to ignite the area, the time has come to truly be a free people in our land, including the Temple Mount, Tom said in a statement. The Palestinian Authority swiftly condemned Ben Akvar's visit, calling it an unprecedented provocation in a statement. The PA added that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu bears responsibility for this attack on al vaqsa Ben Dugver announced his intention to visit the Temple Mount on Sunday, sparking a dramatic statement from former Prime Minister Yer Lapid that people would die should he do so. A veteran of Israel's extreme right, a relative newcomer to politics, Itamar ben Gavir is the new head of Israel's police, and at his investiture, he vowed a tougher stance on security. Everyone fighting terrorism, I will give you backup in this war. Born in the Jerusalem suburbs to Kurdish and Iraqi Jewish immigrants, Ben Gavir's anti-Palestinian rhetoric was inspired by the extremist rabbi Meir Kahane, whose group has been blacklisted in both Israel and the United States for its anti-Arab rhetoric. A lawyer by profession who's been convicted of inciting racism, Ben Gavir is a polarizing figure. A strong proponent for the Israeli annexation of the occupied West Bank, which is home to nearly three million Palestinians, the father of six lives in one of the settlements. As the head of the religious Zionist bloc, the 46-year-old was no stranger to provocation, and he frequently appeared at scenes of tension between Palestinians and Israelis, and has visited sites like the Alaska Mosque in East Jerusalem before. There isn't really a Palestinian people. Historically, we've always been living here. The Palestinian people is a recent term, a few decades old. There are Arabs who can live in peace and security here, and I have no problem with them. Investigated for pulling a gun on Arab security guards, he's pushed for the deportation to neighboring countries of Arab Israelis that he sees as disloyal. In response to news that Ben Akver planned to visit the compound, a Hamas spokesman declared that the fascist settler government has begun its plan to attack our people and the al Aqsa Mosque and declared war on it. Sure, eh? Yeah.
ומחזיר את הביטחון האישי לכל אזרחי ישראל, יהודים וערבים כאחד. ולכן נעשה הכל כדי למנוע את החסק. אנחנו נחושים גם להעמיק את הסכמי השלום הקיימים עם שש מדינות ערב וגם להוסיף להם פריצות דרך היסטוריות עם מדינות ערב נוספות באזור. יש לנו הרבה מה לעשות ואין לנו זמן לבזבז. תודה רבה לכם. The Temple Mount is the holiest site for Jews and the third holiest site in Islam. It is administered by the Jordanian WAQF under a status quo which sees freedom of worship for Muslims at the site and Jews limited to visiting the site during particular hours and restrictive conditions. <laughs> גם יהודים, בממשלה שאני חבר בה לא תהיה אפליה גזענית, יהודים יעלו להר הבית, אנחנו מבהירים לחמאס. אנחנו לא נכנעים, לא מתקפלים, לא ממצמץ. לפיד פורמר פריים מיניסטר וקורנט אופוזיציון לידר ארג' נתניהו לסטופ בן אגבר telling his yeshadid party during a faction meeting that it is a deliberate provocation that will put lives in danger and cost lives. ממשלת ישראל לא תיכנע לארגון של מרצחים, לארגון טרור שפל. הר הבית זה המקום הכי חשוב לעם ישראל. הר הבית פתוח לכולם. עולים כאן מוסלמים, נוצרים, וכן, גם יהודים, גם יהודים. בממשלה שאני חבר בה לא תהיה אפליה גזענית, יהודים יעלו להר הבית. אנחנו מבהירים לחמאס. אנחנו לא נכנעים, לא מתקפלים, לא ממצמץ. Listen to what Rabbi Yehuda Glick has to say. And joining us now with more on Ben Gvir's visit to the Temple Mount is Yehuda Glick, president of the Shalom Jerusalem Foundation, a former member of Knesset for the Likud and a Temple Mount activist. Thank you for joining us. Shalom Lidar from Jerusalem. So Yehuda, let's start with the obvious. Why go to the Temple Mount with all the world's eyes on the new government? Why now? Why risk igniting the region? Lidar, as you said, let's start with the obvious. Uh, there's never been any uh, minister of the uh, security, in, interior security, who did not go on to Temple Mount. Today is the Jewish uh, day we commemorate the beginning of the destruction of the uh, temple, the beginning of the siege by Nebuchadnezzar 2,500 years ago. And I think there's nothing more obvious than a Jew going on to the Temple Mount on this day, and especially the person who's in charge of the security there, to go and see with his own eyes. Now, this move has drawn international condemnation. Netanyahu was forced uh, to issue a statement saying that he supports the status quo on the Temple Mount uh, and delay his trip to the United Arab Emirates. Was this maybe the wrong time for such a visit? First of all, as far as I understand, the delay on the uh, trip to the United Arab Emirates was not something to do with the visit to the Temple Mount. It was just the technical issues as far as I saw the spokesman of the United Emirates. But I can say that uh, there's never a good time in the, in the Middle East. They're always warning you and they're always uh, uh, threatening that if who knows what's going to happen. I remember when the, Israel closed down the Orient House in Jerusalem and they, or when they built the uh, a new neighborhood called Har Choma. They were always warning and threatening that who knows what's going to happen in the Third World War. I can tell you as far as I know, Third World War has not broken out because of this visit. I think uh, postponing it would uh, just to cause, uh, get time for people who want to uh, uh, encourage violence to get themselves prepared. We have to remember that Jewish people or anybody, any believer in God, any believer in the Bible who goes up to the Temple Mount, this is the place, it's the holiest place in the world for well, billions of, of believers in the Bible. This is the house of God in the world. Hashem chose this place to rest His divine presence, and it's only obvious that we should go there. And if we bow down and are afraid from the shadow of every single, every single threat by terror, then we're not going to make any achievements in, the, in this area. We have to get the world used to the fact that Temple Mount is a house of prayer for all, uh, for all nations. And we have to change the music on the Temple Mount. I would say that right now the new government has an obligation to change the music. 
that visiting, praying, this should be the music we hear on Temple Mount. And let's make Temple Mount holy again. Let's make sure the place is a place of prayer and not a place of violence. We should condemn violence on Temple Mount and not condemn people who are visiting or people who are praying. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that you visited the Temple Mount today as well. I mean, how is the atmosphere now uh, in the Temple Mount uh, after Benfield's visit? I had the privilege of visiting yesterday. I had the privilege of visiting today. And I can tell you that uh, the place is, is quiet. And not only is it quiet, there were thousands and thousands of tourists from Italy, from Germany, from the Philippines, from the United States, from all over the United States, many groups. The place is quiet the way it should be, a, ho a holy place. People are going up there praying. We had a group of uh, 100 Jews praying there this morning. I think that's, that's, that's the beauty, the beauty of the, the place that, that many people can pray. It's a place of diversity. It's the world center uh, of, of peace. And we have to change the music also on the media, not only in the, in, uh, in the, uh, on, on the ground. We have to show people to, when they hear the word Temple Mount, their first association should be of holiness, of prayer, of, of uh, the music of, of God. And not that a, first, a certain time you hear the word Temple Mount, you immediately associate it with uh, violence and terror mm -hmm. and threats. Now, and I want to ask, because, that's the real situation. Yeah. because you yourself uh, have visited the Temple Mount on, on many, many previous occasions, and you were personally targeted for this. I mean, do you think that Ben Gvil has now placed a target on his back? There's been a target on his back for several years already. And I, and I think that we should once again remind ourselves that the ones who are to be blamed for violence are the violent people, those who incite them and those who give them any kind of justification. The, just like, unless we want to live in a world where we're blaming the uh, woman who was raped for her rape, we should not at all use the terminology of, of putting the blame on the ones who are the victims. Those who are using terror, they are to be blamed. And the visiting Temple Mount by the, by the, the uh, Minister of uh, National Security is a natural thing. The visiting Temple Mount by people who come to pray is a natural thing. And we have to, as I said, we have to let the Temple Mount be holy again. And we have to make sure that visiting the Temple Mount so is you're, obvious. So you're advocating, though, for a, change, for a change in the status quo? I'm advocating for calling for people of all of, of all religions who, who believe in the Bible to come up to the Temple Mount and worship it with respecting one another. I don't know what the status quo is. I've been uh, 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 ascending Temple Mount for 40 years. I don't know one day that is alike to the other day. I don't know one. Uh, I never heard of what, what, what the status quo is. Every single day is different. What we have to strive is that the place should be a peaceful place, a holy place, and the music that should be heard there is music of prayer. And I encourage mm -hmm. all people who know how to, how to respect others and want to pray in the holiest place in the world, but for the Bible, come to the Temple Mount, and let's make the place the throne of God in this world, the world center for Shalom, God's name. All right, Yuda Gleek, thank you so much for your insight today. Thank you so much, Lidar, and we want to wish the new government a good success. Its success is the success of the people of Israel as a source of blessing to the entire world. Amen. Isaiah 56, verse 7, Even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. Yeshua visited the Temple Mount just before his crucifixion in the Feast of Tabernacles and Luke 19 verses 45 to 46, 45 and he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein and them that bought. 46 saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. 1 Maccabees 7 verses 36 to 38, 36 then the priests entered in and stood before the altar and the temple, weeping and saying, 37 Thou, O Lord, didst choose this house to be called by Thy name, and to be a house of prayer and petition for Thy people. 38 Be avenged of this man and his host, and let them fall by the sword, remember their blasphemies, and suffer them not to continue any longer. Messianic 7 News Cast Broadcasting World News, Current Affairs, Events Surrounding Modern Day Israel and the Jewish People, What the Torah Holds for Us, What is Happening to the Gentiles.
God's plan for the entire planet revolves around the physical and spiritual restoration of Israel and the consequent return of the Messiah Yeshua. Whether or not the nations realize it, world events are swirling around Israel and God's agenda not the other way around. It is our hope that we can connect for you the prophetic dots between God's plan for mankind, Israel, and today's news.